hey welcome once again to this youtube video if you are new just subscribe and hit the notification bell to get all our latest uploads so in this video i'm going to teach you on how you can integrate your mpesa mpesa api in your django application which is built by python as you all know that django is a um, framework for python which is used to build websites so let's get to it now first i will have to in, in order to build this application or integrate django or to start up with django you need you need to check if you are PC or desktop has been installed with Django so Django and all the environment that needs in order to run Django so in order to check this you can confirm like for me I want to show you if mine can run Django application so you can first need you need to have Python installed in your website so let me write Python in order to check if Python is installed in your PC you just write here like this version then you can see this is the Python version that I'm running. Then you are going to check if uh, you have a package manager for Python which is known as pip. So in order to check you just write pip hyphen hyphen version. Then you can see that that's the pip version that I'm running. Then the next thing that you're going to do you are going to check if uh, if you have a Django already installed in your computer so in order to check you just write python uh, hyphen m then you write django then hyphen hyphen version now you can see that's the python version that i'm running meaning my application is set in order to run python so the next step we are going to create a uh, an um a Django web, uh, a Django application, our first Django application, so that we can integrate in it. Uh, the we can integrate the Mpesa API in it. So in order to create, I'm going to navigate to this CD, uh, current directory, then back back. Then I'm going to write dir. Let's check the repository. You can see here I have. A project which is hosted uh, at a folder which is called Django project so I'm going to write CD to navigate to it then I'm going to clear the terminal so that it can be visible then I can I can write the R so that you can see there is no application which is there then the next thing that I'm going to do in this uh, in this in this uh, folder I'm going to create the Mpesa app the, the which we are going to integrate so I'm going to write Django hyphen admin then you are going to write start project uh, project then you are going to write the name of the app that you want to create so I'm going my mind I'm going to name it mpesa mpesa api demo demo then i'm going to do that it will create an an app there so i'm going to write dir so that you can see the it has been created here then i'm going to navigate in it like that then i'm going to clear this so uh, after that i will do this this i will write code so that we can see the code that has been created in our app so this is where we are going to host it you can see here uh, this is the uh, the Mpesa app demo with this all everything which is has been installed there. So the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to launch this application. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to write um, in order to run the uh, the Python applic uh, the, the Django application to mean that we have installed everything successful. I'm going to write Python Python then manage dot pi then i'm going to write run server so when i run server it will launch here so it means that you knew there that i'm getting this error if you're getting this error just do this copy the python migrate uh, manage migrate so i'm going to cancel to close you can you can break it by uh, typing Control c 
so i'm going to run that in that command so that it can uh, remove the error then it will migrate then i will run the python manage.py run server then after that i will not get any error so you can see my application is built successfully and now i can launch it in my browser here to show that it has run successful now you can see it's ready that's i've run the the python which is running there you can see when i reload these are the logs that is printing now the next thing you need to do you need to have a you need to have an account at the raja uh, developer.safaricom.com uh, which is known as daraja api so create an account here then after you have created an account for me i've already created so i'm going to just log in direct into my account so i've already logged in i had already logged in let me log out first so because this is another account which i was using for my business purposes so i'm going to write login and then i'm going to click uh, here this is the account that we are going to use in order to do so after you have created just come here at apps then my apps then after that you can do this you can come and create an app here for me i had already created this but you in order to create yours you just click create new then write the name of your app then click all this then create then you will find another app which is similar to this it means that you will create so when you click show credentials see all your credentials and this is what we are going to use in order for this demo so in uh, with that case that's uh in, in that case that's the first thing you need to know in order i need to have in order to do this video so see you in the next video bye